Hello everybody. Um, in this video, we are talking about the fprintf function. We talked about it last time, and we are still talking about it. And um, uh, I'm, I'm uh, going to show you this this example to give more uh, information about the function and its capabilities, and see how we can apply it on an example that we created before. And this example is the uh, area volume calculator of the cuboid. Um, and I'm going to. Uh, um, Put a print a function instead of the display function. I'll replace them all, um, and we will see that we can display the output as a table, not as uh, just numbers or as a message like these. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to put a print a function. We don't need this anymore. This we use this to move to the next line. We're not gonna need it. We can simply put the backslash n. Um, to add the next line, the same here, add two lines, um, go to the next line, and then the inputs will have no change in these three. Um, we don't need this anymore. And then we have these two, uh, I'll just put these uh, here. Of course, we can, we can, um, we can always uh, replace these with fprintf to to make the the uh, the same output but of course we will not use the number to string we will add the numbers and then uh, put them at the end as we we showed before and of course we can control um, the format of the number as scientific or as a um, uh, number with a specific number of decimal places whatever thing um, and here we will put the if print if and then add a line here and add two lines here so this is what uh, we did as a first thing, replace the display with the fprintf. And then the next, um, next thing we will do is to make the table. So the table will have a header uh, that's separated from the numbers, and the header includes the area, the text as an area, and text at the volume, and the area will have the numbers below, the volume will have the numbers below. So um, what we will do is to first um, make the um, make the the header and it's gonna be kind of manual way of writing the the table but it's it's just a tutorial to show you how you can use the function um, it's, it's not the best way I personally like to make tables but this is a nice way to do it so we will first uh, start by adding one more line um, or two depending on what you want um, and then to write area and separate it with two tabs or three tabs and then uh, let's make it two and then write volume um, and then move to the next line. Uh, we'll add a separator like equals or uh, uh, dashes or whatever thing you, you feel will, will be good. And then we'll um, go to the next line. So if I, if I display or run the program, add any numbers, um, this is what we're going to see as the table header, which is, which is kind of cool. Um, now we want to display the, the numbers, the outputs. So I'm going to write if print if and see what are the numbers that we, get, we want to display. So we want first to display the area and to display the volume. And this volume is the same as this and this area is the same as this. So it's going to get the values that were calculated from these two. Um, and uh, to do this, we need to put the number format. So for the area, the number format would be, let's say, 5.2, um, uh, smaller, uh, lowercase e, and then add two tabs, and then put the volume as 5.2 with the uppercase e, um, and then go to the next line. So let's say I'm going to run it now. So it's 1, 1, 1. So the area is six, and the volume is this. It's, it's not perfectly perfectly aligned, so we can tweak it a little bit by adding one more tab here. And when we run it, it's gonna be one, one, one. Um, and now it's it's kind of perfectly aligned. Now the volume is here, the area is here. The nice thing about this is that you can um, run the program for more than one input. Uh, I mean, for for more than one uh, cuboid. So I can um, run the program one more time. And instead of adding one, I'll put it as one, two. Uh, so I have two, two cuboids, our cuboid. The first has the length of one, the second has the length of two. Um, and the same here. I'm, I'm putting simple numbers to keep track of the values that we have. So we can, we know that the area here, or the volume is gonna be one, the volume is gonna be 
um, a. Um, so we have here a problem that it said there is a, a problem or an error using the multiply because now we are not multiplying numbers, we are multiplying um, vectors. So we will have to add the elementary multiplication um, uh, between the between the variables. So let's run it one more time. One, two, oops. Uh, one, two. One, two. So this is what we have now. So we have the area and the volume. Uh, but th there is kind of a problem here. When we see, look at this, we'll see that the area and the volume are not the right values. The area is, is correct. The first area and the second volume are correct. But these two are flipped because the volume of the first should be 1 and the area of the second should be 24. So you see it's this should be here and this should be here. And to fix it, we need to uh, fix it here in the code. And the way it, it works by making it as a matrix which consists of two um, two rows. I don't know why, but this is the way it works. So let's run it one more time. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. And now it works. The first has the area of one and the volume of six and the, area, the volume of one. And these two are the values of the second. You can... Um, make it um, or, or add more to the table for instance i want to add the number uh, the cuboid number so i can put like a cuboid or num which is the cuboid number um, and this is going to be equals to or, or from one to the um, the number of cuboids i enter which is going to be the number of l's or the number of w's and h or the values in l or w or h or the area or the volume so i can make it as length of um, let's say L, Th they all must have the same the same size, so it doesn't matter um, which which one I'm gonna I'm gonna put. Um, so here I will I need to add one more thing here, which is the number, um, and add two tabs, um, and then we'll put the number here as a percentage. Um, and, and here I don't need to add any uh, scientific or thing, it's just a number, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, or make it 2.0F. Um, uh, and don't forget to add the number here or, or the variable here when you add what it corresponds to here. It, it's a very common mistake actually, so uh, you need to add both uh, every time you, you add a, vari a variable or a number to the um, to the fprintf function. So we'll have this as number, um, area and volume, and let's, and let's give it one more time. So I'll have this as 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. So uh, something is wrong here. Um, Oh, I didn't add tabs. So it has one, two, and it's it's kind of sticking to the um, to the uh, the the area and the volume. So it's important to keep in mind that the tabs are important. Um, so it's good that I did this mistake. I know it works. So you see, this is the number. This is the area. And this is the volume. Let's let's try to run the file one more time by adding one, two, three, four. Um, four. So I have four cuboids. Each one of them has. Um, a volume which is 1, 8, which is 1 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 3, 3 power of 3, 4 power of 3, and the area is as you see here. I can add more, I can make it like uh, 10, 20, 30. Um, oops, there is something wrong. Um, and then um, I'll run it one more time. Uh, oops. Uh, I'm running the file. Um, and you see it's it's getting bigger and it's automatically creating the number because it's the length of the matrix that I enter to the, the file. So it's it works perfectly nice. Um, again, it's not the best way to make a table, but it's a good way to do it if you want to make it uh, or make a simple table uh, out of the program. Um, and this is the nice thing that you can display the output uh, as a table from a program that you have already written. You don't have to uh, make a table out of it. So I hope it uh, it helps um, and gives you more information about the function and its capabilities. And I'll see you in the next video, inshallah. Goodbye.